go there. Since we are Guys. there, since we are there, Christos <laughs> Kiyamo, okay. as uh, Minister of what now? Uh, um, aviation. aviation. What did you What do you think? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's going so far. He has been appointed. He has been appointed from the organ. So. Uh, yes, so yes, so that yes, yes, that's, 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 that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all. No. Wow. So, so you know, so we'll you just know, accept it. Well, we'll we'll just so the thing is, this, sir. Okay. So on a serious note, fly, on a serious note, can he now? <laughs> wow. So on a serious note, right? One of the things I've learned over the years about uh, politicking in Nigeria and especially uh, ministerial appointments in Nigeria is, oftentimes they're not. People are appointed into positions not based on what they are. Uh, what they do, not based on expertise, or no expertise, or yeah. what have you, mm. but based on administrative understanding of how to, mm. you know, run a particular parastatal of government. Mm. Mm. So it's simply so governance. it's basically having the right people who know what is supposed to be done, how to delegate, and having, how to, ha you know, yeah. how to delegate, and having the person, you know, actively understanding what exactly it is that is needed <coughs> to be done. done. Yeah. Okay. So right. He so, can delegate. He yes. gets the people who so know it doesn't, about it. So it doesn't necessarily do have to have done. the okay. experience of aviation to be able yeah. to, you know, direct their yeah. activities of mm -hmm. aviation. Uh, All I need is the proper people or uh, uh, what I would say, the experienced people who understand the business of aviation to ad advise me okay, on let, some let of the things use, that are right that we need to do. Yes. And right. please, guys, you mom me. Real quick. I own a farm. Mm -hmm. I get livestock, crops, all that. I have no idea mm -hmm. how these things work. Mm -hmm. Then I go to gang and I say, gang, you're a farmer, right? Mm -hmm. Just come take over. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Please, when things really go bad and you need to step in administratively, many will argue, you would not know what to <coughs> do. Many will argue that the reason why corruption persists is because of this analogy you've just given. Yeah. You don't know the ins and outs. Exactly. But this guy knows how he's going to pull exactly. a hood over your eyes. My, thank, so when things are going thank wrong, you. you know, you have to have somebody in charge. Now. This guy is there. Gang, gang, back, gang, you know, gang, where are my crops? Gang, <laughs> back shots, you know, and everything. <laughs> so are, are we saying oh. that it's, it's, it, are we saying it's, in, it's invalid to, to put people of um, experience in government into specific uh, ministerial oh, no, appointments. No, no, no. Okay, okay another, seat, another analogy. You know, Remember what I said before the government. show started? Mm. I said the next event you're going to, I'm just going to follow you around <laughs> and hold your microphone. <laughs> like, well, let's be specific now. Which mic? <laughs> you guys. But guys, for what? You guys. What, do you know what's going on? I'd like to take this opportunity. The microphone. Oh my gosh. I'd like to take a, this opportunity. A proper, PA a system. Microphone. <laughs> uh,